Hey guys, it's Nicholas here from UpgradeToLife.com and welcome to this week's quote of the week video. And without any delay, let's just jump right into that and talk about this week's quote. So Neville Goddard said, if you can remember it, you are no longer in it. Instead, you are becoming aware of your new state as a present objective fact. And if you will remain faithful to your new awareness, it will crystallize you will find yourself moving across a series of events which will lead to the fulfillment of your desired state. How it will come about, I do not know. I only know it will unfold. So I'm sure you have heard the, the technique or the method that is also in the law of assumption realm called I remember whim. And this quote perfectly, perfectly explained this method where you basically place your undesirable state in the past and you make you bring your new state into the here and now which is what we always do and this is also a great technique that you can use right i remember when i remember when i was so poor now i'm so rich i remember when i was like unwanted now i'm wanted i remember when you know i lived in this shitty place now i have this this amazing you know new living arrangement all of that can be used but again it shouldn't be used only to um trying covering um a, a huge wound with a, with a band-aid so you can't just plainly say this but it's really about when you when you do this moving your state right realizing oh i remember when i was this but now i am that now i view the world from this new state how would i view my world if i would right now be in this state and let's 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 explain that so if you can remember it meaning if you realize and you 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 see oh the state is in the in the in the in the past then that means you are no longer in it right like neville says it means you have already moved out of that undesirable state but right now you are aware of the new state that you're in and you realize that this is right now present for you realize that this is right now already true for you and again your imagination enables you to shift into any state you like so you are becoming aware right by imagining um, what you want, the state you want to be in, you become aware of this new state until it takes on the tones of reality, until it starts to feel natural, until you start to be it, then you start to think like it, then you start to act from the state, and then you see the results from that state. And if you remain faithful, right, to this new gained awareness, so you right now maybe are aware of being poor, or being in debt, let's take this one example. So your awareness is on the state of I'm poor, I'm in debt, I'm lacking. That is what you're aware of. But again, you can you can take your awareness away from this state and place it on the state. Oh, how would it be like if I would be rich, if I would be financially secure, if I would have the finances I want um, without working out any ways how you will get there. No, you just go straight there within yourself. And then if you go there again, if you revisit this inner state, at some point it will become natural right and it will crystallize it will express itself it will be pushed out through you and this mirror um, of life the 3d world has to show it back to you so you will find yourself moving across a series of events right which is the bridge of incidents which is um you know what we in the in the linear uh, time space illusion go through but please remember that that this is just you know illusion Ill illusionary in a sense, it's not true because if you are internally it, you are already it. If you feel internally you are rich and wealthy, meaning you can check in on that if you how you view money. If I say money to you, what is coming up? If you feel triggered, if you feel oh shit, like I have so much stuff to pay, then clear signs that you are not in a really you know abundant state. But when you're all chilled and you know it's always coming, going, great indicator that you know this is already natural for you. And then in this world, we move through this bridge, right? We go through some events and through steps and it, and it seems like progress, right? That's why we're here for in this game of life to have the, the so that we can, you know, uh, think we make progress in a sense, right? We're not here for, that's not the only reason, but that is what, what happens. We've, we see things in time and space. Um, there is this, this, you know, illusionary separation, which is all not true, which is all not the case. You can instantly inwardly be wherever you want to be, but outwardly in this world, you move through this bridge. You move through some incidents that will get you there where you previously were within. Neville calls this basically also the inner and the outer man. Meaning the inner man, the inner you, the, the imaginative you, your, your inner state can already be at the end. 
Whereas the outer you maybe still sees the old, um, you know, the old builds, still sees the still sees the depth, the red numbers, stuff like that. But you know, it, it would it would not bother you because the inner you already is at being financially stable. So the outer you will be moved. So it also is there where the inner you is. Check out the video I did called uh, "Highways of the Inner World: Inner Man and Outer Man." I will link this above right now. Yeah, so you will move across this series of incidents which will lead you to the fulfillment of your desired state, right? And how it will come about, I do not know. I only know it will unfold, right? So Neville cannot say how your desire will come. Neville's teacher, Abdullah, cannot tell how exactly the desire is going to manifest. I cannot tell you how your desire is going to manifest, but the how is not important, right? The how this unfolds is not important. Why? Because in the how is not where the satisfaction lies. The satisfaction, the fulfillment, the relief, the um, yeah, the, the the feeling of accomplishment of it's done is on the end. So why don't you go go there? Why why would you focus on the how and how you will get there? No one knows. Like this is this is not up to you. My ways are higher than yours. Your imagination, your awareness has ways. Your true self has ways of expressing that state that you know not of, and you don't have to, right? So it's only clear to Neville, and it only was clear to him that it will unfold if you go to the end, if you remain in the end state. If you slip out of that, that's okay. You can just go back into it again, right? And yeah, I also have a video on how to shift into your desired state, how to shift into the state of the wish fulfilled and stay there. I will link to this above right now so you can check it out. Maybe that helps you. Uh, but that's basically it for this week's quote, right? So um, it's it's a nice technique to use the I remember when technique. I remember when I was XYZ and now I'm XYZ. But you can't just say it. You have to really inwardly make the shift while you do that. So, um, and this can be also like many people use this um unconsciously in a really harmful way like they say oh yeah like in the past everything was better and you know everything is so shitty but they still don't realize that this is still inner talk this is still inner conversations this is still them shifting this is still them identifying with in that case an undesirable state so please stay aware of that and if you want to use it then use it consciously and use it in a, in a productive manner use it in a good way i remember when i was so and you put the, the negative uh state into the past which implies you're no longer in a negative state. But I remember when this was the case, but now this is the case. I remember when I had this, you know, absolutely, um, you know, crappy nine to five job, but now I do something to help the world. Now I do something that I love. Now I um, help others. Now I have my own business, for example, something like that. But can be used in any life area, can be used in any scenario, can be used for your relationship, for your health. Um, that's why I don't like to make so specific videos and I like to, you know, give you the broad teachings and the, the core principles which you can then apply easily for all of your life areas, okay? So that's it for this week's quote. Thank you really much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I speak to you next time. Bye, guys.